What's up, Fish Tank people? It's Eric. Uh, say goodbye to almost all of these plants in here. I'm keeping the two big swords. I'm going to give them one last shot because I got some hope for them. They're all still pretty healthy. There's a few leaves like this one that are looking kind of bad, but I'll just remove those as, uh, as they grow new ones. But this thing, this big one right here in the middle, shoots out plants all the time. I mean, I trimmed. See how big they look? I, and I trimmed a bunch of leaves off of them yesterday, like 20 or 30 uh, between the two. But I just, I can't get rid of them. These down here won't be too big of a deal. The uh, crypts and, and uh, I'm probably going to keep a couple of these, the bigger ones. Those are my, uh, those are runners off of the one in my five gallon over there. Um, so I'm probably going to keep a couple of the bigger ones here. And I might keep the uh, healthier of the two Anubias. Um, these right here are probably going to be gone. Um, I don't know yet about that. I, I don't know. It's going to be hard to get rid of all of them. i got to figure out which ones. but Because um, that, that crypt right there in the back is really healthy. It's the, probably the healthiest plant I have. This one right here, it just started dying. Don't know why. But, um... Yeah. Done with the, uh... The whole planet thing. What I'm going to do is... Uh, this whole side right here is going to be, on the bottom, it's just going to be leaves. And I might put this one piece of driftwood somewhere, like, over here, because the clown pleco loves this piece of driftwood. See him underneath there, chilling out. And he's eating a hole all the way through it. Look at that. He's a fatty. It's really weird watching watching them eat. Uh, I actually need to get a new piece, but he loves that driftwood because it's nice and soft. Um... The driftwood I have, the new pieces are going to be right here in this corner like that, and they're going to spread out to the, either they're going to go behind the the uh, sword here, or they're going to go in front. I haven't made up my mind yet, but, yeah, I mean, look how, look at this, swords are growing out of the tank, really healthy. Mel Pisto, I was worried about him the other day, he's, he's doing awesome, I think I'm going to feed him. There's a female. Most of the fry have died. There's still a few left. And I'm hoping they make it. But, um... You can see them swimming around there. There's maybe ten left. I don't know why they're dying. I'm going to have to do some more reading. They're doing great. Um... So, yeah. This tank's going to look completely different when I get done with it. Uh, I'm also going to get some... I've been crawling around today trying to find some some kind of a water lettuce or duckweed or something to put on top here. I think it'll help with the algae. It'll soak up the extra nutrients and it'll, I mean, this light right here is ridiculous. It's so bright. And uh, I tried putting that on there, but I don't think it's going to be, be enough. So, it's hard to find a good, good middle ground. But what I did was I raised it up all the way. It's about, let me see, I could put my whole hand under there with room to spare. It's about eight inches from the surface of the water to the, the light. So I'm gonna, I don't know, if I can find some kind of duckweed to kind of diffuse the, the light a little bit, I think it'll help a lot. But uh, that's that tank. Go over here. Oh, watching Lord of the Rings. We just got a new uh, TV. I wanted to check out what it looked like on Blu ray. It's my favorite movie, by the way. Um, this tank. <laughs> These little guys are up. These guys dig a lot. They love to do work. Um, and look at this. When I first got the tank, like here's the the trim. It was probably the sand's all probably about like right here. Well, look. He's dug all the way down. I mean, it it goes down further than what you can see there. I'd have to put the camera in the water for you to see. But it's it's pretty much down to the glass there. And look, look at this. I mean that's a that's a busy fish. See that little mountain they made right there? Kind of sucks because I can't see the fish as well, but it makes him feel more comfortable. So I just left it, and it looks natural. But you see, they've dug out all underneath the rock there too. Um, 
this one likes to dig under the rock. The, I think this one's a female. She she dug her out a little place. See where it kind of the rock kind of comes out right there. Well, she dug her out a place right there. And if you like watch, I scare her. She'll run. See that? She ran back underneath there. Can't even see it. She hides in the shells too. But I mean, look at this. They they bury shells. Shell. That's the biggest one in the tank, and they're burying it. But yeah, they're so cool. Um, so yeah, this tank's doing good. I've been getting ammonia spikes in it, but water changes help that. So, and I got these little snails. I remove them when I see them. I caught one laying eggs the other day, and I was like, oh no, I grabbed it and got rid of it. But uh, I don't really mind them that much because they kind of help clean up the extra food. I do overfeed a little bit, so. They, they help, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, this tank's doing fine. Uh, doesn't look quite as lush because I, I had all those runners coming out of here. What's up, Pistol? She's cool, man. I say that every time I film this tank, I know. Um, same thing with this tank. I've been having some ammonia problems, but water changes are uh, helping. And this is kind of what I did to fight it. I showed you all this in another video, but I put put this vine in there and check it out. It's only been in there a few days. It's already got a new leaf growing. So, I think it's going to work. Um, yeah, so those are my tanks, guys. They're, they're all doing pretty good right now. The 20 gallon is the one that's going to be a work in progress, but I think I can salvage it. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing videos. I, I'll do another one later today. Dude, I love the pistols. They're like puppy dogs. They just want food. We got him. He's bad. You're bad. He's like, yeah. Anyways. Uh, fish. I know what I'm going to do for for dither fish in here now. Um, once I get it all set up with the driftwood and everything, uh, I'm going to do a small school of cardinal tetra, maybe six or seven. And I'm going to do a small school of um, Cory cats, which I don't know. I'm kind of not sure about that because Corys will eat a pistol eggs, and I am going to get these guys to have a successful brood sooner or later. Um, there's still a few in there, so that's good. Um, I want to get rid of the plecos because you see all that crap back there on the ground. That's all from the plecos. I love plecos, don't get me wrong, they're one of my favorite fish. But they just eat and crap nonstop, that's all they do. So, uh, get some kind of other substrate feeding fish. Corys would be great if they don't eat the eggs. But I'm pretty sure my, my little female here will beat them up if they get too close. Anyways, guys, sorry I kind of long good, but that's what's up. Going today to try to find some duckweed. And uh, I'll let y'all know how everything goes. Later.